Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Hogwash! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out! Incoming transmission. Our forces will deploy at Tierra del Fuego, at the southernmost tip of South America. We'll have to repair this abandoned Soviet base. The cliffs surrounding the Antarctic shoreline make a naval assault impossible. Once you get radar up and running, we'll chrono in an MCV. Yuri's transmissions are coming from the east. We're rooting for you, Commander. The whole world is watching. Battle control. Welcome back, Commander. It's a little unfortunate that uh, they skipped the DEF CON game that was going on with uh, the Lieutenant. Now, this mission's gonna be an interesting one, to say the least. Building. For any problems I might have with it, as we'll get further into it, I like it. Construction Starting out with the Russian forces is pretty interesting, and it allows a lot of um, mixing of tech that you just wouldn't normally get. At least, not on purpose, because after all, you can always capture stuff. Unit ready. Waiting orders. Moving All out. Right. Moving out. It should be said that you're gonna face a lot of aggressive behavior from Yuri in this mission. There's not much you can really do at the start. You don't get a refinery, so you and you don't even have any units, so you kinda have to focus on building units before you can even get an economy going. Building. And you don't actually have that many funds either, which doesn't help. Construction complete. To be 100% honest, I feel like this level is one that you'll want to play very defensively until you can get that knockout punch. Our base is under attack. Repairing. Repairing. Construction complete. The initiates by themselves won't be the problem, obviously, but still something to be aware of. And it's kind of why you really want to focus on getting at least some amount of units out first. The sentry gun alone can deal with the, the initiates, but as soon as anything else comes up, kind of need something more robust. Thankfully for us, we've got that nice little gem field up north, and once I actually go back to looking for that unit, we'll see something out to the west as well. Building. Building. That's also a reason why you kind of want to get rid of your engineers as soon as possible. Last thing you need is for Yuri to mind control one right in your own base and then quickly capture your construction yard. New construction options. Good job, Commander. We're searching for a suitable landing zone to chrono in your MCV. Just hold off Yuri's forces for a little longer. Building. It's also a little unfortunate because. The location that you start with, with the Russian or Soviet base, doesn't have a lot of buildable area. It's all just very awkward. 
Like, you can't sell the, um, the walls. There's some doodads here and there that just take up space. And, complete. sure, you could probably Build. get, like, a, fa a flak, trapper, uh, flak trooper or two, but I don't even think that's justifiable in terms complete. of uh, spending money. Low power. Building. On hold. Our base is under attack. New construction options. Repair. Teleporting troops arriving in 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Warning. Psychic Dominator What's detected. What's the word? We don't have Made much time, wrong. Commander. Good to go. Build up your base in Antarctica quickly. <laughs> and as you might imagine, you're starting another base from scratch. So you kind of need to get on the jump with building a lot of stuff. <laughs> to make things as simple as possible, I suggest getting... Probably about three or four Tesla coils with the Soviet base, and supplementing the Allied one with a dozen or so Grand Cannons. It might seem like overkill, because it is. And, well, I'm sure you'll see why. You see, the AI manages... well, manages... the AI gets a new unit called the Magnetron. Kind of a annoying thing to deal with. Think of a prism tank, but with a longer range, if that's even possible. Also, annoyingly, if the AI ever manages to get the, the two oil derricks, or even one of them, in the southwest corner, it immediately starts building stuff, which just ends up being annoying. <laughs> Admittedly, it never really dawned on me to grab, uh, to even look north of the Soviet base, so I never knew there was an oil derrick there. This is probably my fourth try on this map. It's a pretty rough start. It's certainly not helped by the fact that Yuri gets both of his special uh, abilities, which I kind of flubbed this time around. Normally how it works is that there's a, um, well, there's two things that Yuri tends to use, obviously. Um, in terms of his uh, special uh, super weapons, the first being the Dominator and the second being the Mutator. I'm pretty sure we've seen the Dominator before, we've used it. It just takes over control of uh, a group of units within an area. Now, it is possible to move your units from one area to another fast enough that the Dominator never really works. The Mutator works on the same sort of idea, except that every infantry unit within an area uh, mutates into Brutes, which we've seen time and time again. They're the basically Hulk looking uh, units. Now, sadly for me, there's two construction yards, but anything we can do to, you know, manage that is going to be useful. Cancel. Spy plane ready. Airship ready. Bombardier to your station. Select target. Building. I'd like to say that it'd be good to try and plan, say, a spy plane flyover so that the AI targets that first, but you can't really ever predict the spy plane. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before as well. It's just kind of unfortunate. It would have probably been a smarter idea to have uh, my blimps target the Gatling tanks that could move around, but, you know, live and learn. It's also rather annoying in this map that you can't really go the naval route. Like, it'd be nice to get a couple naval yards and pop out a bunch of aircraft carriers and then have those just destroy everything possible. 
But the problem you come across is that there's like three dozen boomers. Well, there's less than those, obviously. But there's quite a few boomers, and you don't really have the capacity to build units while your naval yard is being destroyed. And there's no real way to ever mitigate that. And because boomers are subs, you can't really... You don't really know where they are. Now, the Grand Cannons can shoot at ground, and that might be helpful to a degree, but I'd rather just use them to defend my base properly. I hope you can kind of see why I dislike these. Also, yes, squids don't affect boomers. That's... Yeah. Our base is under attack. So that's how you kind of not have to worry about anything Yuri can ever do. One group of Kirovs will take out at least one of his construction yards. Just make sure to target the northern one, obviously. And then just double trouble any other target of value. Unit ready. Building. I mean, come on. The squid has one thing it does. Unit ready. I, I just... I don't know. I don't like the idea that they can't disable a boomer. If the argument is that Yuri isn't a naval power, so you shouldn't be able to disable them because I guess what else could they do to, to shoot at squids? I mean, that sounds like a design problem that they didn't want to fix. Cannot deploy. I know what your tactics are, John. Artillery. And I can tell you, artillery. they won't work. Building. I mean, if my tactics include like 20 Kirovs to flatten everything you own, then you really are a mind reader. Our base Bombing is under attack. Ready. Unit ready. Repairing. Seriously, Grand Canyons are like the only thing to we fight against those. Transporting if you don't play it properly, honestly, you just immediately lose because yes. the Yuri just drops like four of those and kills you. Also, yes, the AI manages to use the genetic mutator too quickly and the invulnerability that units, that GIs get between um, being targetable and deploy like an actual unit on the ground is longer than the genetic mutator. So you can get free units, or maybe not free units is the word, but you can definitely juke uh, such an important ability. Siege chopper, checking in. Transporting siege weapon. Our base is under Helium attack. Mix optimal. Bombing base ready. Airship ready. Building. Helium mix optimal. Closing on target. Airship ready. Target acquired. Unit lost. Helium mix optimal. Target acquired. Reinforcements ready. Construction complete. Helium mix optimal. Closing on target. Cannot deploy here. Cannot deploy here. So many dumb trees. Ready. Target acquired. Sea chopper checking in. Unit lost. Cannot deploy. Also, yeah, I don't really know how to use siege choppers properly, but we'll see that shortly. Building. Our base is under attack. Unit lost. 
I mean, realistically, I should probably be flying those in, considering they don't have power anymore. But, I'll be honest, um, I kind of just built a lot of siege choppers, and I didn't really read up on what they could actually do, so... Pretty on brand for me, anyway. I kind of figured that they'd be better than just have machine gun, and I'm sure they do in a deployed form, but I'd have to deploy them. Oh, and two bases have different powers, so, or different power outputs. <laughs> So, yeah, if it's not obvious, try to dismantle them with powerful units such as the Kirovs. Um, prism tanks also work, obviously. It certainly doesn't help when Yuri has mind control powers, so he just takes over or takes control of your units every so often. And then once that's done, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Realistically, even if you don't have the desire, I guess we'll put it, to um, build a bunch of units, have them fly over and just do the slow dismounting, um, just because you hate units, I guess. You could also just clear this mission entirely with super weapons. That's sort of the one problem with uh, Yuri at a um, in a later mission like this is that he doesn't really have anything to stop you if you don't have units. Both his superpowers rely on you having stuff to take over. If you have nothing, he can't steal anything. Now, obviously the issue also exists in the fact that Yuri also doesn't have an air force, and how he's attacking is a very methodical me uh, method. In the sense that it's a AI, so it has several routines and it doesn't really deviate from those. Unit promoted. Unit ready. For example, the AI is granted units so that it can attack the Soviet base. If it's not given these units, it literally can't attack the Soviet base. So, you know, it's kind of easy to figure out at a certain point. Unit promoted. Warning. Lightning storm created. Unit promoted. Reinforcements ready. Unit promoted. And as great as it is to have all this infantry here that's all high, like, high rank and super powerful, it's not going to mean anything as soon as they get anywhere near a Yuri who mind controls one and then they all start infighting. Unit promoted. Bombing base ready. Unit promoted. Repairing. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit lost. Select target. Warning. Iron curtain activated. Airship ready. And because because Kirov's take forever. There's not much left to really do. Destroy production, destroy power, and eventually Yuri will decide that it's probably better off to sell all his stuff. It's just kind of unfortunate it takes so long. The one thing I have to say I'm thankful for is that in all cases, it's never required to destroy 
all vehicles. They probably figured that boomers are annoying to ever have to deal with, and so they should probably skip that part, that portion. Other set for new heading. Square the way, sir! You got it! Ready! Unit oh, lost! Thank you, sir! Ready! How can I help? They pushed me too far! Unit promoted! Do I still need this shovel? They pushed me too far! Unit lost. You know what, Miner? The shovel is probably the more important part of your entire arsenal. Of which is only the shovel. Unit promoted. Mission accomplished. Nice. Listen to me. You will obey. You behave, or there'll be no dessert tonight. I am Yuri. You will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He's surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville. How? Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The president's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might. You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time like, two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay. And that does it for the Allied campaign. As always, thanks for watching. And make sure to join me when we go through the Soviet version, or the Soviet campaign, and anything else that remains in the game.